Julian is the latest stop as President Biden continues his final push for Illinois candidates ahead of Tuesday's election. President Joe Biden. President Joe Biden used a last minute trip to support incumbent Democratic congressional candidate Lauren Underwood and to once again highlight his administration's record on Social Security and Medicare. Folks, I've come to Illinois to talk about two programs that reflect who we are as Americans, that Lauren understands to her core, to her core, Social Security and Medicare. A 36-year-old Underwood is seeking a third term in the closely watched 14th district she won back in 2020 with just over 50 percent of the vote. Yet. The Naperville native faces current Kendall County Board President and Chairman of the county's Republican Party, Scott Greider. We are in a fight for our lives for the future of our country. During what the White House says was an official event, Biden addressed a crowd of around 200 people at Jones Elementary School, and he also commented on protesters who were gathered outside. I love those signs when I came in, socialism. Just give me a break, what idiots. In a statement, the Illinois Republican Party called on Representative Underwood to disavow Biden's comments, accusing the president of lashing out at his critics. The president's Saturday appearance follows a Friday night fundraiser for the Democrats he headlined in the western suburbs. Republicans are making their own political appeals to voters, too, with the GOP only needing a net gain of five seats in the House of Representatives to take control. Both parties are focusing on getting the vote out. Let's elect Democrats up and down the ballot and win big this year. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in town on Sunday attending two rallies, one on the south side in support of Governor J.B. Pritzker and Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.